kind of horrible, moist, melting mess outside today. It's a little bit warmer than it's been, but heck with that. I'm inside running the ball still. There's gold in there somewhere, but it's kind of small. You'd have trouble seeing it. And over here, I'm running the still, just getting her up to temperature. And she reaches just under 200. And that's a good spot. Soon filling up nice. Running good. Making all the right noises. We've got a bit to run today. And I've still got a little bit in here to run. And I've got this white one to do. I should have one more of them around here, sir. Maybe I gotta find it. Yeah, I will. There's something on my mind that I'd like to talk to you all about. Now, I've, I've talked about this a little bit in the past. Yeah, I guess I was a little passionate about it. But it has me frustrated because I don't see how if there's anything I can do about it. On my own, I can't see a way out of this. So, hey, if anybody can help on this one, I'd appreciate it. British Columbia is now the most expensive place in the world to live. It's not just the cost of housing here. It's the cost of utilities, like electricity, internet, okay, or if you own a car, fuel costs and maintenance costs to your vehicle. Um, the, the price of groceries, tobacco, alcohol, the like, has gone up so far in British Columbia that it's now three times as expensive as Alberta or Saskatchewan to live in. I, I haven't heard about Manitoba, so I don't know about Manitoba. The eastern provinces, some of them are, are just as oppressed as we are here in British Columbia by the federal government imposing too many taxes and raising the cost of everything exponentially. Huh. I don't see a way out of this. They keep raising the costs of food and everything else, and yet the um, if you're a working person, well, your paycheck, you don't get a raise. If you're on minimum wage, you're on minimum wage for forever, man, you know? Um, if you're on a pension, there's no way out. No way. You cannot live alone in British Columbia on a pension. It doesn't work. You can't go anywhere. You can't do anything. You can't buy anything. Your rent, your bills, and your food, that's all you get. And it feels to me that they've done this. I don't know if it's the right equation, but I'll put it this way, okay? So pandemic starts okay so now nobody's allowed to go anywhere nobody's allowed to do anything okay um all your shopping has to be done online pretty much okay so now we get the variants coming out and they're raising costs of everything and the prices of everything so you're still not allowed to go anywhere and you're still not allowed to do anything and the way that they can keep you doing that is by raising the costs of everything so that you can't afford to go anywhere or do anything. 
that is just what I'm being shown. I'm not putting any kind of um, uh, attitude or anything on this. Uh, I'm not trying to put any emotion on this. I'm just putting it out there that this is what I see as to what's happening. And there's no way out. There's no way out. You know, I, I've tried to invent things to do around the house just to occupy my mind because I have nobody to talk to. You no, know, maybe once a week somebody will stop by and that's for what, maybe 10 minutes. The rest of the time, hey, I, I sit here by myself either watching movies on YouTube or, or running the the still or the blue bowl and once I'm out of concentrates for that until the snow melts outside I can't go get any more concentrates from the riverbank to to wash the gold out of it I'd really appreciate it if somebody could you know shed a light on this so that you know we can Get someone to speak on our behalf to the federal government to raise our pensions. So that it is commensurate with the cost of living. Let me know what you think. Or don't. It doesn't matter to me. Not anymore. But that's just my thought. As long as it's making that noise in the worm there, I know it's breathing right and can write. Just about halfway to temp. Well, I guess I can feed this another spoonful. it comes up and through the hole. All the gold stays in the bowl and all the garbage goes through the hole into the bucket underneath. This is my reservoir. Yeah, I put a drops of dish soap in it to loosen everything up. Even though it's been washed clean, it's been stored a while. Moved around a bit and that creates dust, micro dust. Helps keep things smooth. Well, that's my uh, thoughts for today, and uh, I know people that could sit and stare and watch this all day long. But yeah, that's my for today, and wow, I wonder if there will be any kind of positive change for that. Right now, I don't know.